What's up guys, John here, and in today's video I wanted to address a question that I get asked pretty often, and it's just how to get started playing Tommy Emmanuel style or Chet Atkins style. I also want to tell you about some of the resources that I use to get started and recommend them for you too. So the first thing I would talk about is actually this book that I got. It's Tommy Emmanuel Finger Style Guitar Method by Mel Bay, and it has a CD. I know it's old school, um, but I picked this up and it really has just some great uh, points to get started playing in this style. And one of the first exercises is basically this thing called Tom's Thumb, okay? And what this is, is the idea that like when Tommy teaches a lot of his students, I've seen in interviews that he says that literally he would like duct tape his students' fingers down to the face of the guitar so they would just only use their thumb. And the idea is that you get this alternating bass happening. So this is the exercise I want you to try. If you take a C chord and you're gonna palm mute it, okay? And you could either use a thumb pick or just use your thumb, you know, like this, which will work too. You're gonna play that C chord and you're gonna start on the A string and you're gonna go A string and then give a little strum on these two strings, the D and the G strings. And then move your third finger up and play the third fret of the E string. Bring your thumb up and play the E string and then back to that little strum. So you're alternating like this. And you're not using, like a lot of people wanna go, but you're not using those fingers. You're gonna keep them down here and then do it all with the thumb. So that's really what this first exercise does in the book is it gets you just using that thumb and you almost wanna get it on automatic where you're just not thinking about it because then you're gonna eventually bring in those fingers and you're gonna practice doing rhythms maybe with the thumb or they could be syncopated and kind of play against it and sort of get these polyrhythms. So if you got this going, then you can later add the fingers like, and he has you do that. He has you play like whole notes and then syncopate it like, you know, one and two and three like that. And then you just work through different changes where you're doing that on like F and G. Then what I recommend you doing after you get that thumb going is putting this into application in a tune. So maybe you take a song like Freight Train and you just go through the changes of that using this alternating thumb like this. and you just work on that in the application of a song's progression so straight after that you go through Tom's thumb you do these different exercises over different chords and then he gets right into a song and the first song that he teaches is freight train and freight train is really I think it's a perfect song to start with it's not too crazy and he has kind of a simplified version and then a more involved version and then straight after that he just gets in gets into repertoire you know playing songs like mr guitar and dixie mcguire which you can see on my channel a version of me playing that posted that recently i'll link it up and you could just hear that kind of alternating bass in in application. So this is where I would start. I would check out this book. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. You can check it out. And it's really a short book. So after you get through those basic exercises, then what you do is you start working on the repertoire. Pick easy songs to start and work them out slow. Also, I download a lot of YouTube videos and play them in slow motion and just learn like that too. That's another great way of learning. So check out this book. And I hope that helps you out as a tip to get started, and we'll see you in the next lesson.